Hi everybody and welcome back to another screencast of Total OS Today. Well, if you will permit me, I would like to uh, talk a little bit about something a little bit off topic about uh, the future of cars and the future of automotive technology and the uh, in relation to the price of gas. But uh, yesterday morning, I drove past my local gas station and the price of gas was was uh, 383 three dollars and 83 cents per gallon I had some errands to do so I figured I would go back after lunch to get my gas well the price had jumped to 399 almost four dollars a gallon and needless to say I was jumping for joy I had my bottle of wine birthday cake and I was shooting off bottle rockets celebrating the rise of gas. No, I wasn't. I was pretty ticked off actually. So I thought, well, what are my options? Well, I could uh, not get the gas and uh, run out of gas. I could walk. Or I could get a horse and buggy and a pooper scooper and scoop the poop. But I got my gas and I left pretty ticked off with no sense of control about getting gas for my car and what's going to happen down the line but I did think about the future of cars and the automotive technology behind the cars and alternate ways of getting around alternate means of transportation so the point of this is I was thinking about this car the Nissan Leaf uh, LEAF, I believe, stands for Leading Environmentally Friendly Affordable Family Car, Nissan LEAF. This is a full production model of a car that runs on batteries. No fossil fuels, no gas whatsoever. Now before I continue, just a disclaimer, I am not being paid by Nissan whatsoever. I am not affiliated with Nissan or any of its employees. These photos, I believe, are okay to post. Uh, they are non-copyrighted as far as I know. However, if Nissan complains, I will have to pull in, pull these photos, but I suspect since I'm giving them free advertising, I don't think they'll mind. But let's continue. This is the Nissan LEAF. Batteries only, no gas. Nice. Now this car here uh, you can charge it in your house. I believe it has a slow charge and a 110 volt system charges overnight. Uh, or you can get a portable power charging station on 220 volts that gives the car almost a full charge within within 30 minutes. Not bad. Uh, I believe the car has a full range, driving range of 130 miles. That's not a lot in real world driving I suspect it's less about 100 miles or less and I believe the EPA gave this a comparable rating of 99 miles to a gallon I'm not sure how they do that but that's the rating and uh, I'm not I'm sure this uses some kind of computer system operating system to maximize the voltage who knows maybe it uses Linux I really don't know but I was thinking about this and the cars built here in the states a couple years ago we bailed out a couple of american car companies as, as some of you may well know and by the way this console looks pretty slick here anyway we bailed out a couple of american car companies sometime after that there was a commercial featuring a very prominent spokesperson highlighting the new rebirth of this particular car company highlighting its cars that got 30 miles to a gallon or more and I thought well this looks nicer doesn't it pretty slick anyway I thought of that commercial and I thought well that's insulting 30 miles to a gallon there were cars here 30 years ago getting 30 miles to a gallon so 30 years later we have progressed virtually zero if anything it seems to me we've gone backwards but but I thought about this and you know having a car like this and you'll never have to see a, a gas station again it's uh, it's pretty nice isn't it now a week ago here or so uh, 
one of the new cars on the market, uh, a lady mother or a grandmother was driving down the road with two kids in the car and the steering wheel falls off. No, it was not the Nissan, but you can look it up. I will not mention it here. And this is a brand new car. One of the cars that gets 30 miles to a gallon. Luckily, she was able to pull off the road. No one was injured. Everybody is safe. But I thought, well, that's nice. You know, we have cars here that are built, at least I think substandardly, and steering wheel falls off. And there was another news report of a hybrid here in the States that uh, caught fire in someone's garage. So where does that lead us in terms of automotive technology? Do you think electric cars are the way to go or some kind of alternate secret fuel that we don't know yet? I know in Europe uh, overseas gas prices are much higher than they are here. But you know, for the prices to be this high with no shortage of fuel or gas, it just doesn't quite fit at least not to me. Anyway, this is the Nissan Leaf. Let me know what you think. Do you think something like this could sell? Do you think something like this could be successful? Uh, the car looks slick. It's all electric. I'll never see a gas station again. Anyway, let me know what you think. I guess you could classify this video as my first rant about what's going on here and a and in the world affairs concerning fuel and the future of transportation. Anyway, guys, that's it. That's all I have to say. I'll catch you next time. Thank you. Bye.